Just that one guy out there. One guy. Thank you for the armor. What do we have over here? Nothing. More nothing. This area is so large, there's got to be something hidden around here. Something I will probably never manage to see. Because I am actually quite terrible at secret finding in these kind of games. Oh well, it's still fun. jump up here? No. A little bit too high. I think the uh, heavy assault rifle might be my current favorite weapon in this game. <laughs> you guys are just covered in blood. What the hell happened over here? That's some nasty shit going on. Can't go up that. Looks like there's something shimmering out there. There's some armor up there. How the hell? All right, considering that you can get up that high somehow, I need to uh, go back and figure that one out. something you have to get to later cuz I don't see any way of really getting up there can't jump on that hmm seriously no I thought it was going to let me lever myself up there but nothing okay <laughs> I guess it only kind of works sometimes when it feels like it. Right. Just hop on this. Thank you. Makes it easier to get up here. I uh, could have gone around, but whatever. Um. Yeah, I don't really see way of actually getting up there. I might just wrap around later on. I think I'm just going to have to move forward and hope for the best. going up. Can't jump through that one. Alright. You having trouble over there, buddy? I helped! to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal, and I'll give you what you need. Okay. 75 rounds. I thought we could only get 60. I must have missed that one. Alright. Blocking my access. Can we go through here now? No. What do you want me to do? Go back down? 
I don't really see anything else up here. Yeah, okay. I guess he wants me to go back down, or maybe this elevator actually goes up further. Nope. That goes back down. I guess uh, moving that gave us a way of jumping up there. Damn. This rifle is really strong. Alright, well, that's our way up, I suppose. Definitely looks like there's some stuff over there. I guess we're gonna jump down when we get over that way. <laughs> what is this? Anything? Or is this just the way we're supposed to go? No? It is nothing, it looks like. Alright. That just goes back around and down. So much for finding secrets on this little tiny thing. This seems uh, highly dangerous. I want to be on the other side, honestly. Because I want the armor. Actually, I don't need the armor, so... And it looks like I need to be on this side, actually. Uh stuff out there, but nothing of really any interest. there. Now, technically, I could jump onto these pillars down here, but it doesn't look like there's anything worth jumping down there for. I was hoping there would be some kind of extra secret stuff, but no. And we could go back around and get the armor, because I can't get it from this direction. Yeah. Come on, just reach up there. You can jump high enough. That's fine. I don't need armor. I'm just gonna move forward. Security not verified. Proceed at your own risk. Yeah, sure, why not? What the hell kind of roll was that? Something about monsters. A possessed security will keep an optimal distance from its target. If the target gets too close, the possessed security will attack with a ferocious shield bash, then retreat to a preferred engagement range. Possessed security have only been observed using the DS-117 UAC shotgun and shield outfit, which suggests their ranks are exclusively created from members of a special forces military unit unit called the UAC Nano Phalanx. The Nano Phalanx is used exclusively as military defense for remote UAC colonies. Artifact of some sort? The Bezek. Alright, 
test subjects exposed to this sphere exhibit extreme rage and increased strength. It has been noted that subjects given the berserk sphere will vent their rage on any living creature they can find and will even self-harm if they have no outlet for their fury. Yes, like punching explosive barrels. <laughs> In the extremely rare case that the subject survives exposure, they will be left in a perpetual state of delirium and should be exterminated. I don't know, it worked out fine for me. Used it, well, it didn't do anything to me. So now we've got power-up effectiveness that we can upgrade here. That might be worth it. When a power-up wears off, a damaging blast will be released. Nice. Some healing power upon activating a power-up. Health will be filled to maximum. Cool. Power extender increases the length of time that a power-up will remain active. It seems like this uh, might be the line that I want to go on. But dexterity might be something to uh, go on as well. So I should wait a minute and find out. What is this? Oh, just ammo? Hey, buddy. I don't need something big for you. You're too lame for that. coming through. Hey, buddy. Maybe it was just you? You were noisy. Noisy. Alright, don't really see anything around here. Why, hello? Thank you. Lots of ways to go. That way is the right way, it looks like. So what do we have going on over here? Hey, buddy. Why, hello. those. Tokens are always nice. Unfortunately, that didn't uh, lead us to an actual secret. Can I get down here? No. Any of these uh, controls can move these things. See nothing. Great. Had to have a shield.
Too many errors on everything. Can I open this? No? Okay. to go, but is there anything else worth going to? It looks like there's a down. Did that open? That totally opened. I did not want to open that. What's going on down here? I need a flashlight, man. Well, that was all of nothing. It's a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. If you can withstand the power surge. Is that like a jawbreaker? That's a little big for my mouth. I guess I got pissed I couldn't eat it. Oh. So we can upgrade uh, either ammo, health, armor. I think ammo is more what I would want right now. There's plenty of uh, armor and health everywhere. Yeah, um, let's go with ammo. Pure Argent energy you've just taken into your system. It seems to agree with you. Hm. I will unlock the remaining Argent cells within the facility for you. Vega, give him what he wants. 61,337 UAC members deceased. 81% of the facility is on lockdown. Demonic presence through the Mars installation is critical. According to the records, Dr. Hayden, the invasion originated in the Lazarus facility. It seems that a hell wave was activated, transforming 64% of all UAC employees into the creatures you see roaming throughout the facility. The rest were killed by the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this, and I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited Hell and its resources because it was in mankind's best interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown. So, um... You, uh... I know someone named GLaDOS? There, Sam? No? You look familiar. Alright, I wonder what kind of uh, ammo we've got. 120 and 30? Nice. We've also got four on our chainsaw now. 